Hey, what's up guys? My name's Martian, and as you can see, I'm just had my wisdom teeth out. Got a little bandage with some ice packs wrapped around my head. Um, <laughs> a lot of friends that I have that have had the same procedure made it sound like it was going to be the worst thing ever, and I uh, pre-recorded a few videos yesterday when Jumpstart first dropped because I thought I wouldn't be able to record, but I'm feeling fine. I feel like I could go out to the, a restaurant, eat a steak, but <laughs> obviously I'm not going to do that, but I feel fine. So I'm going to record a video. Um, and this is a deck that has been performing insanely well for me. And it does some crazy, crazy things. If you've, if you've given it a go, I'm sure you can agree. But yeah, Goblins in Historic is just pretty damn good. They've gone from decent to probably top tier, I would say. And I've heard quite a few people say maybe some pieces need to be banned like maybe just one piece here or there but that mightn't be the craziest statement because this deck does some crazy stuff like we're talking attacking in for 60 power on turn six with haste <laughs> but yeah so we'll start at the bottom just got fanatical fire and just the two of just to get a quick start sometimes same decks not running this one so maybe it's not the correct play but i don't know just the two of um, just to make sure we always hit a, a one drop, six one drop seems like you'll pretty likely get a one drop. Skirk Prospector, probably the better one. So you can sack goblins to add mana. So the main thing you want to be using this for is uh, with your instigators or the beetleback chiefs that create tokens. You want to be sacking those for mana to play your big guys like your Muxus, your Siege Gang. Yeah, get things down earlier than you otherwise would. And because these cards like Muxus, Siege Gang, Ringleader, all of those guys generate so much value. It's okay to sack a creature here or there because you're just going to make up for it instantly. It can be hard to know when, but once you start playing the deck a lot, you'll know when to sack a creature and whatnot. I'm still probably not... I don't have the best idea of when or when not to sack, but it's still a one-drop goblin. We want lots of... We want to be playing goblins throughout the curve. Conspicuous Snoop, probably one of the better cards in the deck. Just a two-mana 2-2. Two, two. Play with the top card of your library revealed, so small downside is your opponent knows what it is too, but it doesn't matter all that much too much of the time. It will matter here and there, especially against a counter spell deck. And you can play goblin spells from top of your library, but that bottom one, so that's the main, that's the best part of it, is playing goblin spells from top of your library. A lot of value. For a mono red deck, this deck has so much value, and you rarely run out of cards. You can sometimes win through like two, three board wipes. It's crazy. But um, that bottom line of text too, as long as the top card of your library is a goblin, this thing has all the activated abilities, so Siege Gang, going to be able to sack goblins, because that's an activated ability, sack goblins deal too. Cranko is a big one, um, tap it to create X11 goblins, where X is the number of goblins you control, so if you've got the Snoop down, and it's recovered from summoning sickness, then you can just tap it to create goblins straight away. So yeah, there's not too many, like in older formats like modern, You've got some crazier activated abilities, but even just things like Fanatical Firebrand, Skirk Prospector, they're activated abilities too, but yeah, mainly playing it for that value, that middle line of text, but it'll come up as well, that bottom line. Instigator, as I said, just two one ones for two mana, two goblins is nice for a lot of reasons, good for your, your things like Chieftain that are pumping it, um, especially if you have Chieftain down already, then this is two mana for, uh, for two two twos with haste, that can be crazy, but yeah, great with your Skirk Prospector as well. And great for your incinerator because this thing, um, this thing's a really versatile card. You mostly want to be cycling it. Whenever you cycle it, you have it deal X damage to target creature where X is the number of goblins on the battlefield. So, because you're cycling, you're drawing a card and dealing the damage. So this can be two mana, deal five damage, draw a card. Easy. And that's insane. That's an insane magic card. Um, and cr decks that don't have creatures, this is what makes the de this card even more insane. I don't know how it's an uncommon is that you can just play it as a 3-mana 2-1 Goblin. Not a good card by any means, but just that versatility is just busted. So I could see this card being banned even. I think that's a pretty bold statement because it is it it is very reliant on Goblins. It only goes in a Goblin deck, but God, it's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, just the one-off chain well, a great thing to tutor up with your tutors that we'll get to. Any deck that has lots of X1s, like we're talking, like we're talking Elves. I've seen a bit of... Cavalcade of Calamity in Historic even. Um, there's lots of decks with lots of X1s, and yeah, you can shoot this up sometimes and clear their board. And maybe they've got a Planeswalker, I don't know. But yeah, just a good card as well, solid card from the hand, just the one of the... We've got a few one ofs you'll notice, just for um, all of our tutors. Then you got the Chieftain, one of the best cards in the deck, one of the really good new additions from Jumpstart. 
And yeah, just three mana, two, two, haste, other goblins, you control it, plus one, plus one, and haste. That's that's a lot of really yummy, yummy text. Like, those are some really good things to give to a deck like this. Uh, Matron, one of our best tutors, our, our only, like, straight up tutor. I guess the ringleader and the Muxus are semi-tutors. But yeah, this thing, straight up tutor, enters the battlefield, grab a goblin, put it in your hand. Really good card, three mana, one, one. So it gives you a body and whatever goblin you want just just fantastic just the one of war chief kind of our fifth chieftain obviously not quite as good but making them cost one less to cast can be fantastic gives them haste as well and sometimes you might want to tutor this if if you got your big guys in hand it'll come up but yeah just a good card fifth chieftain kind of two beetleback chief um i've seen some decks playing four of this some decks playing none i think two is where i've landed just for now so uh, four mana to create three goblins, one of them being a 2-2, two, two, the other 1-1. One, one. So four mana for four power, split across three bodies is pretty good. And as I said, it goes really well with your Prospector, Chieftain, and your Incinerator. Because, yeah, lots of bodies. goes really well with Siege Gun Commander. Um, so, yeah, lots of bodies are important, but it is a bit expensive. So just the two of Ringleader, four mana, 2-2 two, two haste. And when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all goblins revealed this way into your hand. So lots of value we've got 37 creatures in the deck all goblins so you're gonna hit like a lot of creatures you're gonna hit at least two most of the time sometimes you'll hit three or four and it's just crazy that's a lot of value and then it's a 2-2 haste as well which is fine um Krenko, great one to give haste with things like your chieftain and your war chief because if it comes down and you got a board full of uh goblins I was about to call them zombies. I hope I haven't called them zombies throughout the video. Um, if you've got a board full of goblins, and this and this thing has haste, you can tap it straight away to create like 10 goblins, and then they've all got haste, and then you win the game. Easy peasy. I've had games where, <laughs> this is crazy, but I've had games where I play this guy, turn 6. Okay, I haven't said what this guy does yet, have I? <laughs> when Muxus enters the battlefield, reveal the top 6 cards of your library, put all goblin creature cards with converted mana cost 5 or less, so every goblin in the deck from among them onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order and it, whenever it attacks it gets plus one plus one for each other goblin you control until end of turn so i've had turns where i have played this guy on turn six i like maybe i've sacked a, or even earlier you can do this earlier it's the crazy part but i've had turns where i've got a board full of zom uh, zombies goblins already play this on turn six grab a few goblins from the deck one of them being a chieftain I keep missing it. Chieftain for haste and maybe a Cranko. So you're giving your Muxus and your Cranko haste. You have 10 goblins on the board. You tap this to make another 10. This thing attacks with haste and is a 25 25. I've literally had this attack as a 25 25 with a whole board of 20 other zombies attacking as well. I've never hit them because they always scoop it up. But yeah, <laughs> you can do some crazy stuff. And then yeah, just the one of Siege Game. Nice card to tutor as well, nice 5 drop, can turn all your, it's a board in a box, as uh, Dev from SBMTG always says, I like how he says that, <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's obviously going to turn all of your zombies into bad shocks, like 2 mana shocks, but did I say zombies again? You're going to turn all your goblins into 2 damage to the face whenever you need it, or if you want to clear the board, but yeah, great way to finish off a game, gives you a lot of reach. And it's a good way to recover from a board wipe. They board wipe, play this for five mana, and you got five power off across three bodies, four bodies, sorry. And then if you follow it up with like a chieftain or something, gonna win the game. And yeah, it, it's a really strong card, but just the one of all these guys, a few one ofs because of all the tutors and whatnot. And then just 23 lands, 21 mountains, two cast Lambeth, no sideboard, but it's gonna be playing in best of one. And yeah, that's some historic goblins. It's such a fun deck. Um, not so fun to verse sometimes because it can kill you out of nowhere, but <laughs> yeah, really fun deck to play. If you enjoy, drop a like, consider subscribing, going to be heaps more content along the way. And yeah, let's jump into some matches and put our Hobgoblins to work. All right, we've got some best of one ranked here against Battlegrounds RVA. I think I played them already today and we'll definitely keep that. No one drop, but we've got a nice little curve out. Cranko in the opener. Just the one of okay, so is it the mirror match? Or is it straight up mono red? There's Muxus as well, okay, interesting. So if we do get a war chief at some stage, we've got that combo. 
has the potential. I was saying a war chief. I mean to say, goddamn chieftain. <laughs> Always call war chief chieftain. I mean chieftain war chief. Why don't I have the full out version of that? I feel like I have it. Maybe not. So yeah, here we just prospect uh, gem palm incinerator to kill our man. Pretty easy option, I think. Because we could have matroned for a chieftain, but yeah, I think I'd prefer this. And we're hitting land drops, which is really nice. Because if we can get this going... Uh, oh, more land, yes! <laughs> this would be insane. Absolutely insane. So I think we matron next turn for war chief. Chieftain, stop calling it war chief. <laughs> or do we just crank it? Out. Well, uh, just killing our prospector that's still unlucky, and they sack that to kill the snoop. That's not the end of the world. If I'm honest, that's not the end of the world. Now, how do we want to play this? How do we want to sequence this? Would, like, do we want to grab the chieftain straight up? A chump blocker, or do we just get Krenko down? Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna save the Krenko. We'll grab a Chieftain. Actually, you know what we're actually gonna grab here? I've been saying it the whole game. We're actually gonna grab the War Chief because it makes our guys quicker. <laughs> I mean, cheaper. <laughs> so, I'm not insane. I meant what I said the whole time. We're grabbing War Chief, baby. We're making our guys cheaper. We're giving them haste because if we can give this haste, that's pretty insane. We'll take three here. Not too fussed about that. They've got another snoop on top. And we hit the land. Nice. So, um, we're not actually able to cast... Not not able to double spell just yet. Uh, maybe we just... Let's just crank out here then. Hope that they don't have something into Incinerator. But, yeah. I wanted to War Chief. But we've hit the land. We know we're guaranteed to mux this next turn. Then we tap Cranko. Hopefully we hit something that gives us haste off Muxus and it will just be insane. What do you got, opponent? Okay, that's fine. Don't do anything cheeky. Nothing cheeky. Hit me for three. Go for it. No blocks. Because we can recover so hard. No chieftain. That means there's less chieftains in the deck. But still, come on, Muxus. Show me the goblins. Show me a chieftain. Yes! That's so good. So now, you tap this, oh my god, that is the combo, and then you get in and you win the match with your 2020 Muxus on turn 6! <laughs> That's so good. Does our opponent just scoop it up, or do they let us hit them? Yes! Good opponent! Oh my god, yes, that feels good. <laughs> Holy moly! This deck has some plays. Alright, we've got a best of one ranked historic match here against Machine. The Machine. And yeah, we're gonna start aggressively here. Got a nice curve. Hit him with the Firebrand. Gonna go Firebrand, Instigator, Matron. Oh, we've got the Mirror Match. And we've got the Turn 1 Prospector. Let's see if they do any shenanigans with that. And you know what? I'm gonna attack. Okay, now gonna let it through. And we'll just go Instigator here. So next time we can just matron for a chieftain, probably. Oh, they've got an instigator as well, so starting quite similar here. They might be looking to sack to get a lot of mana. Beetleback chief. Um, so if we had the prospector down, we could have dropped that. I think we just matron though, honestly. Probably just going to matron. Let's attack in first. Because we've got the, the board presence. I think they'll take all this. Yeah, I knew they'd take it. I mean, if they go Chieftain, then that attack is a bit silly, but actually, I'd prefer they swing in, because then our Chieftain. Ooh, alright, I'm going to do it. I'm grabbing Mr. Wells. If they don't have Chieftain, we clear it. This might be silly, because if they do have Chieftain, Mr. Wells not as good. Oh, so they're multicolored. Or oh, they're just playing Unclaimed Territory for fun. Please, no Chieftain. They did it. They did it. They got the Muxus. Oh, that stings. We do get to clear three of them, so the Whirler still... I'm still happy we grabbed the Whirler. Better than grabbing a Chieftain against this. But, god damn, Muxus. And this gives them haste. 
<laughs> That's so cool. I mean, at least you're going to see goblins pop off. Not on our side of the board, but at least you're seeing... Like, they're doing exactly what we want to be doing. And yeah, there's a chieftain coming. Oh, they're just going to sack for mana. That's smart. Actually, knowing that we have the chieftain, that's not smart. Oh, they're going to keep sacking. Yeah, yikes. Yeah, Skirk Prospector showing its power here. War Chief showing its power. And we can probably just safely scoop it up at this point. <laughs> that is not good. That is not the goods. Yeah. We're, we're just going to scoop that one up, I think. <laughs> Can't come back from that. GG. That's so cool, though. Seeing what the deck can do. Prospector doing some crazy stuff. Muxus from the hand. Yeah, just crazy. Alright, jumping into some best of one. Historic ranked here against F Decade. And that's a pretty good hand. Oh, not the best, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll keep that. Our opponent mulligans. They drop the red land. We'll drop a Skirk Prospector. I'm still not certain on when it's right to sack this guy for mana. Okay, so gonna be the cavalcade, no blocks there. Alright, Snoop off the top is excellent. That's a great draw. There's a matron. Yeah, I'm just not certain on when it's right to sack to cheat into your stuff. I think you more want to be doing it when you have um your instigator, your beetleback chief, things like that, to sack them to accelerate into your big guys like Muxus and Siege Gang. But yeah, I'm still just not certain. Like, is it would it be smart to do this right now, or do we just match it? These are the things that I just don't know. These are the things. Um, I think I'm just gonna match in. Find maybe we grab our one of yeah Chainwell here. So this is why I like to play the one of Chainwell. <laughs> I could do it right now even, but no, that's silly. Um, but yeah, I think our opponent probably just takes the turn off. Oh, no, they scoop it up because Chainwell is gone. <laughs> you telegraph a Chainweller to Cavalcade and they say, see you later. That's awesome. That's why we got the one of Chainweller. <laughs> Alright, jumping into some best of one historic here against Speed Yilzupchi. And yeah, we'll keep that. That's a pretty good curve if we hit if we hit our land drops, I'll be super happy. And I think we play 24 in the deck, so should be able to hit him fairly consistently. And yeah, maybe we just go Snoop turn two here then, instead of the instigator. Um going instigator into Chieftain is a bit better. Oh we got the Yeah, maybe we just go for the aggro plan then. So it's gonna be the Kethis combo. Um, and yeah, we're going to go Instigator into Chieftain and start whacking away. If we can just keep, keep hitting lands, I would be very happy because turn 4 Beetleback Chief after a Chieftain is kind of just GG. Like, if you got no board, but not much you can do about that. They're not going to be able to combo off that quick. Okay, Teferi's a bit annoying, they'll get rid of our token. But it's also good that we played these this guy instead of the Snoop because they just bounce the Snoop. You don't see full art to fairy very often. That looks sick. That actually looks amazing. So yeah, there goes the token. Bad luck. We do get to kill to fairy next turn though. Not gonna sack the firebrand obviously. And now the chieftain. That's not a bad draw actually because if we don't hit the fourth land, we can just drop another chieftain and then our guys are. Why did I do that? Why did I send them all? <laughs> so if we lose by 2 HP... Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. So, Because I would send 2 at that and 1 at the face, but then they'd just block the 1 at the face. So yeah, I take it back. It didn't matter at all. I just wasn't thinking and sent them all to fairy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever do that, but sometimes I accidentally attack planeswalkers with my questing beast. And then realize how dumb I am as soon as I click it. Because obviously questing beast, you hit face and then its ability hits the planeswalker anyway, so never attack planeswalkers with questing beast, but I've done it probably, yeah, five times, and every time I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I play a lot of questing beast. I love my green creature based deck, so I really shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, I wish we, if we had another land here, I'd honestly probably incinerator and snoop, but we're just gonna 
Go the second chieftain, ch chieftain, like I said. And I mean, do they have anything in the grave? I'm super worried about them getting. I guess to fairy Mox Amber, because we'd have to send three at this to kill it. Do we want to do that, or do we want to just go face? All right, we'll send three. I just, I want to start getting in at the face. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess we could have sent two and just assume they wouldn't block with this, but I feel like if we only sent two at it, they would have blocked one. I could be wrong there. Oh, so they do hit the Kethys. Um, do they just combo off now? Not quite. I I'm not actually super familiar with this combo. I haven't played a ton of Historic. Oh, that's a lot of milling. So they're going to be able to get Mox Amber here. And this thing blocks these guys as well. Damn you, Kethys. Damn you, Kurthus. So yeah, Mox Amber into... What do we got next? Get some more self mill, some more fuel for the Kethus ability. Is that the end of the turn, please? I don't think they... Oh, no, they can fibble it from the graveyard. Oh, they tap for what? What do they have? What am I missing? We will meet again. Um, so here comes... No? That's the end of the turn, isn't it? What am I missing here? Yeah, that's the end of the turn. Why'd they do that? Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Don't hit that land. <sighs> Alright, it's uh, incinerated time. What a good card. Draw a card, kill their Kathis. God, that's good. God, that is good. Shut them down. Take action, see you later, Katharino. There's the land, awesome. So we get a conspicuous snoop down as a 4-4. The biggest guy on the board is our little snoop. And it's not a legendary, so, ah, uh, we'll, we'll draw this, so. I was gonna say, we can play this off the top, but we don't have to play right now. And this is going pretty well. Kath's combo, I'm pretty sure, is one of the better decks. I mean, they've got every chance to come back, but we can recover quite well as well with the War Chief. Kind of the worst version of uh, Chieftain, but making them cost one less can be pretty cool. So there's a Kethys in the grave. Do they have a Kethys coming here? Actually, they don't have the mana. To Fairy. It doesn't actually matter what they're down to. I think we just win. Did we win? With this deck, this Kethys deck, because I haven't played it that much, I always just kind of assume. They're going to win out of nowhere, but I don't really see what they do here. And they attack, so they've given up. GG, awesome. Taking down Kethis combo quite easily in the end. I was a bit stressed, but it wasn't wasn't too hard in the end. Alrighty, got a best of one. Historic rank match here against Macaron. Or Macaron? I don't know. Macaron? And we'll keep it, sure. We've got heaps of two drops. Let's trust that we hit some more lands. We've actually got four two drops here. And one of them, if we use it as removal, can draw us into some more cards. Because Gem Palm Incinerator is the best card ever. Not actually, but God, it's good. I love it. Let's just hope we hit our land drops. We've got 24 in the deck, so shouldn't be too hard. We go first, no turn one play. And our opponent has no turn one play either. We'll get a snoop down, start casting gobbies off the top. Damn, no lands. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Excuse it. Okay, there's the land next turn. Um, in that case, we'll just go instigator, set up a big gem palm, as big as we can. And I'm actually happy to make this trade here. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't block. And we've got nothing for them to eat just yet. Turn two scoos is never an issue, actually. I thought they were about to remove our guy, and I was going to eat my words. Um, so we have the option of getting the card advantage playing this off the top or incinerator and killing this but I think when you got a goblin on the top I think it's generally right to play it and they might block this time block the war chief I would assume but we're, we're happy just clearing the way as long as they don't have another scoozy because the next scoozy can eat eat up eat up and get big all right bone crusher giant but we're still winning nice yeah this is good Ringleader. God, I love this deck. God, I love this deck. 
Woohoo! And that's some nice draws too. Please just hit land. We just need a land. Ah, uh, yeah, land or two. Start double spelling. Skarg and Hellkite, not an issue. Oh, the plus one counter does make it a bit more of an issue. But we can just kill it because this deck's busted. So, yeah, we just go Incinerator. I mean, Instigator into Incinerator, right? Yeah, seems like the dealio. Instigator. Don't have haste because they killed our poor little war chief. Whoops, I was about to play the wrong card. And yeah, we cycle this. Dealing five. <laughs> Two mana, deal five damage, draw a card. Seems kinda overpowered to me. <laughs> God, this deck is good. Like, I'm talking something might need to get banned good. Because this is just insane. We don't care about that. Um, we just go Chieftain, Instigator, and we've got a huge board, <laughs> and we just attack in, and we win! GG! It just, the deck is insane. Like, that's crazy. That's turn six, and we just absolutely annihilated them. Perfect win, 20 life. GG.